Hi guys, I wanted to show you my roses. Aren't they beautiful? It's amazing for me to um, have December roses, Christmas roses. Um, I grew up in the mountains and we didn't have roses. We didn't have um, anything like that going on. Um, no. Um, so I want to give you an update today on my fibromyalgia. Um, today's a pretty good day. I've recorded this at least I've, I've recorded quite a bit today trying to get something on film or on it's not film anymore it's digital it's, it's a brand new world for me um fibromyalgia I've had fibromyalgia for my whole life I don't remember not having fibromyalgia I don't remember not having pain I don't remember feeling full of energy and full of life and wanting to run and play all day. I, um, I, I was pretty active as a child. I was a pretty happy kid. We, you know, we did a lot of stuff with my family. Um, but it was rough. You know, no, nobody really understood. I was diagnosed in the early 80s. Um, I had children shortly thereafter during the 80s and 90s um, the doctors weren't recognizing fibromyalgia I was, when I was diagnosed they called it fibrositis and um, I would say to the doctors I have fibrositis and they had no idea what I was talking about so eventually I quit talking about it I quit telling doctors I had it I, um, I decided that I was just being a wimp, and I needed to buck up. I needed to just, just do what I had to do and not worry about it, and that everybody had pain, and everybody was going through the same thing I was going through. I was just being a wimp about it. Um, that changed a few years ago. I fell, and I got hurt, and um, had a concussion, and I had to go see doctors again. And um, before I knew it, they had put me on antidepressants, and I was sitting around all the time and not feeling like myself. I had no energy to do anything. I um, it was a really bad time for me. So um, now I'm off all of the medications. The only thing I take is a high blood pressure medication. Um, before I went on the antidepressants and before I was treating my fibromyalgia at all, I had low blood, low, low blood pressure. There's the fibrofog. Um, I had low blood pressure. I was very active. I would garden all day. I would ride my bike. You know, I, you know, went for walks with the kids. We went hiking. We went to the beach. We did a lot of stuff, and it was, you know. It was good, but during that whole time, I was pushing myself. I was pushing myself just because I believed that there was nothing wrong with me, and I just needed to power through. And so I was very angry a lot, and, you know, I was, I was hurting. I was in pain. I was tired. I didn't want to do anything, but I had to. I, you know, as a mom, I was... A church lady, I had to help out with different things. I had to, you know, be everything to everybody. And, um, yeah, um, now I don't try it. You know, I do what I can do during the day. I um, get what it needs to be done, done. I make sure there's food on the table every night. Um, there's food for, you know, when people need to eat. Um, most days everybody's gone, so it's just me here. Um, I've been recording many videos lately, and I haven't posted one yet, and so my goal today is to get something posted. I think it's really important for people with fibromyalgia to speak out and say, you know, we're here, we're in pain, um, we want to know why we're in pain, we want to know how to deal with our pain in a real way. Not to be zombified, not to be obese, um, 
sedentary people. Um, I heard a video the other day, and the doctor was talking about most people with fibromyalgia, before they develop fibromyalgia, are more the type A personality. They're busy, they're active, they're go, go, go. And then they get fibromyalgia and things, or they get sick or whatever happens, they get, they're diagnosed with fibromyalgia and they're not as active anymore. And, um, so it's important to, for us to stay active. I understand that. Um, the doctors now, the ones I've been seeing, the videos are, um, saying that it's all in our head again. And, not to say that we're just imagining the pain. They're saying, yes, we're actually experiencing pain. And I need to say, I'm not a doctor. I'm not trying to give it any medical advice. So just listen to what I have to say and make your own decisions based on what you're talking to your doctors about, what you feel is right for you and your body. Um, so, where was I? Oh, yeah, there's the fiber fog again. Um... So yeah, I've been. The doctors are saying there's a disconnect between normal um, body response to our body sending a signal to our brain, "Hey, you've just been touched," and our brain is saying, "Hey, you've just been speared," <laughs> and it's we're in pain. It hurts, and um, I can understand that. Okay, there's a disconnect there, and. But for the doctors just to say, well, here's some antidepressants. So you're going to feel all better when you have these antidepressants. I don't think that's right because the side effects are making us sicker than we need to be. They're making us zombies. They're making us sedentary. Um, and that's not good for our health. It's not good for us in the long run. We have to live with this disease our whole life. We have to deal with trying to stay as healthy as we can while trying to um, treat our pain and our fatigue and our brain fog. And um, I think it's important for us to, as fibromites, as spooners, if that's what people are calling us now, I think that's really funny. Um, yeah, I'll explain that sometime. Hopefully. Yeah, so... I think it's important for us as a community, a fibromyalgia community, to speak up and say, I'm in pain. I want help. Can you please help me feel better? Can you please help me function and be as healthy as I po possibly can? And, um, yeah, that's, that's my message today, that, you know, if more of us talk about it, what we're going through, hopefully... There will be some more understanding among the, you know, our families and friends, and people will understand, you know, where we're coming from. That we're not lazy, we're not complainers. We're just trying to deal with our lives the way, you know, we're dealing with the hand we've been given. So, um, thank you for watching. I hope that. Um, it's helpful just to hear someone else who can chime in and say, hey, I'm here. All right, toodles.